is the first series to be presented by... Casting! Presented by animals! Look out! Farm animals, please! Farm animals only! We're tired of appearing in documentaries... Hey! <laughs> ...in which we look ridiculous! Ready? Because the show is about to begin! Don't move! Give us a big ollie ollie! <laughs> ollie ollie -hoo! Everyone, we're on the air! Harley! Camera, action! Roll VT! Please, do not feed the bear! Curtain's going up! The director's in his chair! It's showtime, folks! Say a little prayer! Welcome to the TV viewers, welcome to the show! We're your friends, the two new ones, we'd like to say hello! We can tell you things that every human comes to know! It's the crazy to be television show! Howdy, howdy, you! How do you do, Felix the Alley Cat? Hi! Oh, brother. Did you know that cats sleep for two thirds of the day? Get off my paws, will you, bird brain? Cats! Where do you get all these second rate actors? Stick to the script or you'll both be replaced! Well, okay, Madam Director, so what's my motivation? <laughs> my character. I don't get it. There's nothing to get! Just fall off the roof, dummy! Oh, my! Let's go again! A cat, scene one, take 644 and a half. Wow! Action! Ollie, ollie, you, Felix, alley cat, alamai. What do you mind just getting off my paws, bird oh, brain? The pizza, Felix. Cut! Right, that's it, I've had enough. Uh, how much, my good fellow? He's yeah. Munga funny, munga naga, no charge. Hunka, huh? This creature does have rights, you know. It's here in black and white. Clause one, item A. Cats are living beings and must never be treated as playthings. All right, let's do it again, this time with feeling. Take 645. Yeah, no! Ollie-doo, Cat Ellie Felix. What a shot. For two thirds of the day, uh, cats are asleep. Oh, ha ha, yeah. And oh boy, do we love to sunbathe. The name's Angelo, the domestic cat. But living with humans can make a cat soft. It ain't, uh, natural. This episode... Yeah! ...is sponsored yeah. by... Tuna Moose Towels from all good department stores. Call the stunt cats! <sighs> you know, deep down, alley cats and domestic cats are very much the same. No, I ain't nothing like that, spoiled pussy. But this monkey's dirty and he smells revolting. But you have so much in common, my feline friends. Starting with ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Uh, uh, ribbit, 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 ribbit. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he have fun controlling sound. Thanks for your input, he he. You're a real artiste. Mama Kangaroo, is the punker kid ready for his scene? No worries, Polo. seem to have a slight technical hitch, Ollie. Keep talking. Cats have no fear of heights. Watch this next experiment. experiment. What experiment? You mean... Oh, I think you know the one. <laughs> it's the one where you jump into the air. The urge is irresistible. Uh... See that little birdie? Birdie? What birdie? Your hunting instincts are taking over. I can't take no more. He's within your grasp. You feel insulted by his presence. He's taunting you, gnawing at your insides. You make one desperate effort to reach him, but suddenly, Whoa! disaster strikes. Oh, no. But fortunately, you have something else in common. Cats always land on their feet. Well, almost always. Painful. And cut. Good work, Ollie.
Dolly. Let's get to scene two. Wardrobe, makeup. Ollie, Ollie, you, my nocturnal friends. Now, when night falls. Oh! Backdrop, Toonil. You can be replaced. Pull up the night sky. Hey, nice delivery, Ollie. Only cut out the slapstick humor. As I was saying, when night falls, the cats take over the neighborhood. Bro, 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 brawny. Where, where uh, are those cats, brawny? Hey, <laughs> make Ollie rap. Sleeping like kittens. Yeah, they sleep for two-thirds of the day. That's right. And what's more, we're mysterious, dangerous, savage, and above all, solitary animals. Huh? Don't listen to Felix. He's an alley cat. Mm, we cats are sweet-natured, kind, and gentle. Why don't you go find a human to nuzzle? Don't eat me, cat! Even though I'm a mouse! Hiya, Mus. Hey, aren't you in the wrong episode? Imagine a world where mice and cats get along! You're wanted in makeup! Any chance of a little shut-eye? It's time for my spot! The cats seem great! Hey, where's Polo? Howdy! Let's be a little professional! Get the sun higher! You ruined my career! No, you don't! You mustn't eat that! <clears throat> yes, cats live in all the major centers of human population. That belonged to Hee Hee! Come back with Hee Hee's fur! I eat bigger than you! You leave that baby alone! Cut and next, Cats Domesticating Man. Action. Hee Hee, Uncle Wooga, Hunka love cats. Wooga Naga, big hit. Ha ha ha! Um, yes. There are some troglodytes who enjoy throwing things at cats! Look! Run! Listen to this, bit part hunker. Clause 15 states that nothing is to be thrown at cats. Hey, a pyramid! I don't get it! What does it mean? I've no idea, Ollie. Allow me to enlighten you, Ollie. It was, of course, the Egyptians who first domesticated the cat a very long time ago. Ah, baloney. Uh, what I meant to say was, since then we've been man's companion. Somebody shut him up! Oh, boy. <laughs> A cat's death caused Egyptians such pain that they plucked their own eyebrows off. Pain! Quiet on set! We're about to start scene four! Brawny! No problem! Welcome to the Brawny Show! Brawny on you, kids! This show is not recommended for serious-minded people. Thank you! You're too kind! Wait a minute! Who authorized this part of the show? Can't you guess, Ollie? Hee hee, having fun! <laughs> I've turned my section of the show into the cat's meow, do you see? Ah! Let's meet our first guest, it's Felix the Alley Cat! Guess there's no chance of sleeping for two thirds of the day round this dump. Oop. He has 30 sharp teeth, he's a feline carnivore! I don't see anything funny. We got funny if you want it, Ollie. <laughs> Darkness, please, two nils! I give the directions, Brawny! Darkness, please, two nils! Okay, Whiskers, how's the night vision? Huh? You for real? I only wanted a little sleep. Well, what do you see? A gorilla's finger? Very oh. funny! Dim the house lights! Your secret weapon! In darkness, cats' pupils dilate oh. until they take up almost the entire eye. The monkey's right. Cats do have remarkable night vision. Enough, Brawny. Your show isn't the least bit funny. I thought it was pretty good. Hee hee's so handsome! Hee hee's the best! Quit fooling around, hee hee! Oh, hee hee! Karaoke King! Kitties! Ah. Oh, come here, little one! Ah. We need a small cat for the next scene. Perfect! I'm a small cat. Sabretooth is a godfather of cats. How do you like working with humans, ST? We've lost transmission! Hee-hee! Hee-hee's in control! Sure I like humans. Couldn't eat a whole one. The guys are near the boy! I've got kitty play funny! Ha-ha-ha! Strength! Funny! Leave that child alone, you grabby! That cat sure is impressive! Yeah, he's one tough cookie! Whoa! What about this one, Brawny? A fine example of a short-haired ah. cat. He's a Scottish fold cat. 
The only ones with floppy ears. Don't laugh. No, no good at all. I didn't hear you. No good. Now run along. Me, I'm a short-haired cat. That's a long-haired one. Perfect. Ideal for the scene. Sorry, Ollie. Long-haired cats like this one are too valuable. Especially if they're angoras like I am. Hunka ha, Snooty Cat. Hunka waga let hair down ha uga maga hunka hell. I see what you mean by valuable. Say what? Nothing. It'll wait. Hunka mm. <laughs> la help. Hunka change mine. As representative of the Tunamals Protection League, I have two things to say. Number one, change your hairdresser. And number two, as stated in Clause 8, Item B, cats must never be physically intimidated in any way. Now, on a serious note, we ask that you don't make any crass jokes about our next guest feline. The Sphinx Cat, who has no hair. So no bald gags, please. That wouldn't be fur. Her fur. <laughs> hey, let's not split hairs, Ollie. Beauty is only skin deep, and he's the hair to a fortune. <laughs> Cat bald, hunka ha, hunka ha ha. Ha ha, funny, ha ha, no hairy. Trust a human to lower the tone and make cheap jokes at other animals' expense. Humans have no sensitivity at all. These cats have to be petted and caressed. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hi, Ma. Oh, oh sir, lovely dress. It's a coat. Why do female cats command so much respect? Well, take Kathy. As a mother, she's hard to fool. Four healthy and happy little kittens. Scram, fur balls. I ain't counting kittens, I'm counting sheep. Eh, uh, you know, these cats remind me of someone. <laughs> They're your babies! Hey. Well, how would I know? You had more boyfriends this year than Cleopatra. Yeah, but you were uh, different. I was? Of course you were. Cut to cats on a date. <coughs> yes, I was in heat. When we're in heat, we female cats have an irresistible odor that says, I want a boyfriend. Hee <laughs> hee! In love! Hiya, boyfriend! Not a minute, Ma. Then we rub our whiskers. And in cat language, that means we're boyfriend and girlfriend. I love you like a long nap. I do, my sweet alley cat. Our worlds are so different, but... What? You! Ah! Try some of this sweet-smelling eau de cologne. Ah! Ah! Two-thirds daily cat sleep. I'm a mouse, but don't eat me. Just imagine a world. Not now, mouse. This is the love scene. Wait for your cue, please. Let's keep rolling. <laughs> Listen, you dumb schmuck. I'm in heat. I'm irresistible, and I want a boyfriend. Hee <laughs> hee, be boyfriend. Beat it. Yeah. yeah. Home sweet home. <laughs> and cut away to the kitchen. Didn't I tell you it was the wrong door? Well, there's no need to be so frosty. Uh huh. So, how many times a year do cats get in heat, Mama Kangaroo? Kitty's our window. Visitors, Kathy. A few times. Too many for all the bites you provoked. Ah, first, you lightweight. She's too classy for you. Since those two can't decide, I'll step in for them. Madam, I'll be your knight in shining armor and defend your honor. Sure thing. Arise. Uh, You're out of here. Sorry, Ollie. Cats in heat can be a little bit moody. So I see. And what's the duration of the pregnancy? Not long. Only about 65 days. <sighs> we ought to start the kitten countdown. All she needs now is somewhere clean, dark and quiet. Somewhere she won't be disturbed. Listen! This isn't a wildlife documentary! I need to be alone to give birth! Rally out of you! Rally you! Oh, jeepers! Come out of there! Oh, I'm soaking! <laughs> Relax, Mama. Kathy has found the perfect place. Hey! That was my dressing room! You'll regret this, you furball! Shame on you, Muss. You might have been Godfather. Ah! Oh! Huh? Aren't they cute? But, uh... Hey, I liked them all, and it's true what they say, bald is beautiful. It's quite normal, they can have three or four kittens. 
and not all by the same form. There you go. I'm really gonna have to. Was there a little hee hee? Hey, beat it, Spotty. Cut to commercial. Your feline friend can leave unwanted gifts, hair, bad odors, and other stuff. So hee hee garbage can just perfect for cats. Yes, Hee Hee's Garbage Can sponsors the interactive question, which this week is what's the record for the number of kittens in a litter? Kitties, how many? Is it A, nine kittens, B, 11 kittens, or answer C, 14 kittens? Stick around till the end of the episode for the answer to the interactive question. Oh, how wonderful. That's just great. What's wrong, Angelo? Anything I can do to help? Kathy's gone off to look for a new boyfriend, and I have to teach these kittens how to be hunters. Well, there's no one better qualified. You have hunting instincts that are common to all felines. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Hey, what's with all the letters? They're from your admirers, Ollie. They want to know what color your eyes are. Do you remember who it was that Curiosity killed? Scram! You little, I mean, try to learn from Angelo, son of mine. Learning through play. Um, these little fellas need something to chase. Well, now that you mention it, Must. A living creature. Something small that runs around a lot. Maybe with a long tail to grab. Uh, yeah, yeah we, we get, get the, the picture. picture. Like my ma always said, Must, you got a big mouth. I'm out of here. Let the hunting commence. Come on, kids. Hey, you're not... Uh, kids? Okay, cut! Stop the filming! What's the matter, Ollie? These kids, they're not following the script! I'm sorry, Ollie, but kittens are easily distracted by anything that moves. What's the hold-up? I turned down a commercial to do this! Hey, you're not still rolling! Outtakes are big business! Using all his stealth and cunning, he pounces on the yeah. rodent! Don't eat me, cat! Yeah, I'm a mouse, but imagine a world oh, where... Oh, they're not gonna eat you, Mus! They're gonna play with you a while! How humiliating! An actor of my talent! Mice make me feel sick! Hey, I ain't that bad! They love me on Broadway! Domestic cats don't eat mice. We're much more civilized than that. That true, Barely? <laughs> Barely? That's true, Barely, you say? Sorry, I ain't true, Barely. I'm just Barely the Bear. The one with the bird paw. Maybe I should say something about that, Madam Director. Try an ooh-yah with feeling. Ooh-yah. Hey, the bear ain't up to the job. Change the voice, hee-hee. Ooh-yah. See, Barely, with feeling. Honka, honka, barbecue put out. Ha-ha, <laughs> cat's hungry go. Some hunkers do lack a little tenderness. If cats don't eat their prey, then what do they eat, Barely? Water, water, water! Unga naga! Cat clink! Everyone needs water, what do they eat? Oh, well, that kind of depends on the variety of comestibles that are available to them. Look at here! Cats are fussy, they prefer their cuisine to be of the highest quality. Excuse me, sir. I hope you're not going to suggest that we eat out of the garbage can. What kind of catering service do you call this? But what if there's a petty pie a la chanson de la patrie? Would you turn it down? We domestics would never. I'm a gourmand. That's my kind oh. of chow. But what does the well nourished cat need to eat? Gotta have plenty of cereals milk, rice, vegetables, meat, and coarse fish. Is that food coming or not? Sure! Deep down, all cats have the same dietary needs. Ha! Unka poison cat. Ha ha ha! This is a despicable practice. But fortunately, Clause 20 exists to enforce the proper punishment. Ah! Ah! Well, wiggle my whiskers. Mm, smells disgusting. I'll Yucky. try anything. Provided it don't smell like that. A cat won't eat or drink anything if it doesn't smell right. He love bad smelling food. <laughs> oh, I'm tasty, very tasty. You see, you have a whole lot in common: physical attributes, diet. Nah, I ain't nothing like this pampered pussy. Me like him? Why that coat's never even seen a brush? Hmm. This ought to do it. Concentrate on the what? You're under my influence. Whatever you say, Ollie. Angelo, you're king of the alley cats. 
Felix, you're completely domesticated. Yeah, I'm king of the streets. Meow. Hey, let me in. I'm hungry. You've got to be more refined. Show some affection or they'll never adopt you. They won't. Kitty! Uh, but... Love God, baby! Love Kitty! Nice joint. And really clean. Domestic cats inspect everything. Yeah, and we don't like competition. Let me hear you. Like all felines, domestic cats mark their territory by scratching. Right away. Marking with urine is another favorite method. Really? Oh, uh, yeah, but please don't take it the wrong way if your cat does this near you. They consider you to be part of their territory. Hey, what you doing, kid? Okay, I'm leaving. Not through the window. Although you're small, I must draw your attention to Clause 5, which states cats must be respected, as must I, you disgusting ha! child. It's the Fapanka territory! Get out of there, Sphinx cat! Okay, action! Ha! The territorial dispute, like we rehearsed! Yeah, nice face. And this is your space. It's the other way round. Read your script. Oh, yeah, this is my space. I don't like your face. Yeah. Time out! Yeah. Fierce posturing makes a fight unnecessary. Mm, that's scary enough. Not exactly. The fierce cat arches his back. His hair stand on end. And finally, the terrifying hiss. You got it? I'm so scary now, I'd scare my hairdresser. Yeah, what a horrible sight. I'm frightened. I'm terrified. I'm the super scariest scourge of the street. No way, kid. You triumphed as an alley cat, but you're not as scary as Hunka. Abandon Hunka, kitty. Abandoning cats is abhorrent. I triumphed as an alley cat? Then that means... Felix, you're my... Pussy, my brother. Yeah, oh, let me, me see a fellow. Oh, 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 just imagine a world where... Beat it, rodent. Domestic or alley cat? Deep down, you're both the same. The owl rap is sound, bro. You is what you is. Ain't that the truth? I wholeheartedly concur with your prosaic summation. Bugga! Ugga dagga, baby, ha ha, love kitty! When he he about, cats should watch out! You need that smile wiped off your face! It's great to finish on a happy ending. Wouldn't you agree, Christopher? It would be happy if this flesh-toned fiend would learn to love all cats and not to abandon them. Be good to all our feline friends. You heard it straight from the mouse's mouth. Let's capture this happy moment for posterity. All together now. Meow! What's this, Ollie? The master print! Huh? Barely! Oh. This should be handled carefully. Ollie! Hey, Ollie! Maybe I can stick this scene here, do you think? I guess not. A traditional farm converted to an authentic concentration camp will be the spark that involves Ollie and Christopher in the kookiest rebellion in the world of Toodles. A hysterical chicken, a smug cow, a deaf sheep, and a goat with a really bad temper form a quartet of courageous and crazy prisoners determined to win their liberty at all costs. But it's not going to be easy. Can goats climb onto roofs? How many kilos of wool does a sheep have? All this and much, much more in the next savage episode of Toodamole!